Tonight, from Las Vegas, Nevada, Super Bowl 58. Presented by EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the champions from the NFC, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brandon Gordon along with Charles Davis, and what a season it's been for our AFC champions. I mean, this was a fight just to get to the Super Bowl. You got to figure that they are very battle tested and ready. I'd agree with you 100% about that. You don't get there without having those types of attributes, and that's what you look for in a Super Bowl team character, confidence. These guys don't lack for either one of those. Now they're here. Now they're ready to win. Meanwhile, our NFC champions, they have gone through a lot to get where they are. Everybody knows their story this season. What's the key for them as they start this Super Bowl? Let's go full cliche on this one because it works. Remember what got you here. Been a winning formula all season long. This is a team that when we saw them in the preseason, we said they look like a group that has what it takes to be a Super Bowl winning team. And we've been proven right by what we've seen throughout the season. So it all comes down to this. We are ready and Super Bowl 58 off and running from New Orleans. Returnable here for Davis. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. They'll be led out by a former Florida Gator at quarterback Kyle Trask. And he comes in off of a tremendous game in the NFC Championship round two weeks ago. This has been a team all season long that's really taken their identity from their quarterback, and he's been very vocal in days leading up to this game that he believes that this is their time, and he's going to do all he can to will them to a Super Bowl win. A first carry for Leonard Fournette. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. Fournette, a first down carry. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that. will feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time, he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Trash throw on target to Godwin here. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people just like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. On second down and four, Trask. This throw caught right around the six. And the Bucs are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. A chance for the first points of this Super Bowl. It's first and goal. Jones. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. 
It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Second down and goal. Trask, and that throw behind his man. He missed him, incomplete. A big one here early in this Super Bowl. It's third and goal. Fournette, and he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl, and a long one at that. And the Bucs are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one out to the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you, along the way, and they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp. Guys are focused. Everyone's feeling good, and we're seeing it early in this one. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. A 10-play drive that time. And the man who finished it off with a run into the end zone, Leonard Fournette. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. And he's been sensational all season long, but he saved his best work for the playoffs, leading his guys to the AFC Championship a couple of weeks ago. And now he knows what lies ahead. He's going to need to play a near perfect four quarters of football to get his guys to the finish line. A Buccaneer sack. Vita Vea able to collapse the pocket, get to him, and drop him for a loss of a yard. Well, the very first thing they told us, Charles, was we need to apply pressure early, and I would call that early pressure a nice sack to start the game. <laughs> and on the other sideline, I just have this image in my mind of the head coach on the headset with the offensive coordinator asking him if that's exactly what he saw in his mind when he called that play, and if so, is it gonna be like this all day? That's a tough one right there. Dancing to his left. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this is going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. 39 yards on the punt. Give them just one yard on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. That'd be ideal. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Trask. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Fournette running out of the gun. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. On second down and four. Trask. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Throwing. Trask. He completes it to Beckham. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Oh, now Beckham. 
37 yards. And the Buccaneers will add to their first quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. And this will be caught. So the try for two, good. And it pushes him out to a 15-0 lead. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Nothing our score. It's the NFL on EA Sports. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. To throw, it's Mahomes. On the move to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. It was the safety blitz that ultimately did the job, and they're going to credit him with a sack. When you're down a couple of scores like this, CD, you can't afford too many plays that go in the wrong direction like that one. Yeah, when you take a good look at it broadly, sacks are better than giving up an interception. But where they are on the scoreboard, they've got to get rid of all of that and just create positive plays for themselves in order to have a chance. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. From midfield, here's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 38-yard line. Mahomes going to throw. That one complete to Hill. Seven yards to pick up there. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. This throw nearly intercepted. Oh, the big D lineman almost had it. The third down coming up. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And again, it's Mahomes. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. Second down at seven. Now Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he'll look underneath here for Edwards Alaire. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards Elaire. An 11-yard touchdown. 
And the Chiefs are on the board here in this Super Bowl. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Yeah, you're so right, because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. Extra point by Butker is on target. And this is back to an eight-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Returnable here for Davis. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Called it the 26. Leonard Fournette and the rest of the Bucks offense set to take over once more. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who have been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys <laughs> on the other side of the football. And they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Setting the throw, here's Trask. A quick pass here to Godwin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. And Fournette with a first down carry as he works his way forward for a nice pickup of about six. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. Fournette once more on second down. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. He finds his man complete. That's Price. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Escaping the pressure right. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. From the gun, Trask. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. Carlson able to put this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera, but this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And a first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some end. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. The safety blitz stage to perfection that time as they sack him for a loss of six. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds.
From the gun, it's Mahomes. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And here now the putter, Martin, booming this one away. It's taken to the 26. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And possession will switch hands, first and 10. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Looking for Godwin again, and he's got him once more. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Trask to throw it. Looking downfield for Godwin. And that is incomplete. Similar to a shooter in basketball just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now we had a guy who made the catch. They try to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. On the draw, this is Fournette. And yeah, this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down right near the 24. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. He connected on his first, this from 41. The kick by Carlson is good. And that will do it for this first half. So it's halftime here on sports' grandest stage in the Super Bowl. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It's been a tremendous season of football, but it's not over yet. One half remains to decide who will stand on the podium with the Vince Lombardi Trophy. And to call the second half, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. And right now, their chances of hoisting that Lombardi trophy not looking too great, but perhaps that long halftime, maybe it did them a world of good. But if there's ever a chance to regroup, it's in this game, right? Because you do have that long halftime, a chance to really assess things and maybe make some changes and true adjustments. They put great all year long. That's the worst first half of the season for them. They're going to put it behind them and come out punching here in the second half. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Mahomes now to throw. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Mahomes to throw once more. And he'll go back to Kelsey. This time it's caught. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. 
Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And the Bucs are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. Leonard Fournette making his way back out there. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went into halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half. It gets ugly in the second half. They've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. They'll run with Fournette, and he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it and pick up first downs. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Trask now. Flush to his right. Finds the open target, Arnold. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. The kick by Carlson is good, and they will open things up a bit more. It's 24-7. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice win for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. KC's offense ready to take over. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave them with second and a yard. A shotgun snap and a give to Edward Zolaire. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And he'll take this from 147-yard line to the other. A gain of six. <laughs> on second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. A first down and more for Edwards Alaire. 
And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing now is Mahomes. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Vita Vea able to drop in that time for his second sack of the evening. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Now Edwards Alaire. Yeah, nothing doing here as this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. They will try to run with Edwards Alaire. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Now Mahomes got to have this one. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Bucks defense, they'll celebrate the goal line stand. Back now comes Tampa Bay. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Again, it's Fournette. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And they're going to get the first down here across the 15-yard line. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. On second down, it's Jones. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Again, it's Jones. And this is going to be a Bucks first down as the tackle made just shy of the 30. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive lineman, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try and make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. Second down, back to Fournette. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. On third down, Fournette. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. And he'll be taken down by the face mask, it appeared. And yes, out come the flags. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actual frustration, not a good play. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. And he'll go down at the 28. After
after a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. They'll run it again with Fournette. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 121 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. A give to Jones. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. They'll go again to Jones. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Ronald Jones. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Buccaneers are feeling good as they extend their lead in the Super Bowl. So the first drive ended in three. This time they take it down and punch it in the end zone. So that first drive felt like they were just gathering knowledge, didn't it? Just enough to kick the field goal on the first one. And the second time they put it all together and got it all the way to the end zone. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is now 24. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it's Ronald Jones that polishes it off with a touchdown run. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to seem like a distant memory. And this one just has not gone as they had hoped. On first down, Mahomes. So it across his body and it's intercepted. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. All smiles and high fives on that defensive sideline. That interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance. Yeah, if you can hold a team to seven points in the NFL, that's the kind of day that you feel really good about. Now, I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves, held them to seven. If we'd made one more play, <laughs> could have had our shutout. And they'll indeed take a knee. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have won the Super Bowl, and they will hoist the Lombardi Trophy to cap an amazing season. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. champs the Lombardi trophy is theirs and so are bragging rights for an entire season what a season it has been feels like we have been there every step of the way our entire crew doing a wonderful job thanks to my broadcast partner Charles Davis for all those guys I'm Brandon Gunn signing off we'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports